Altering an outlet cover is an inexpensive way to personalize your room. I'm gonna make you a world with these two hands today. If you're renting and can't paint, it costs less than a buck to alter a new cover and add color to your space. Today, I'll show you how to update an outlet cover using three different materials. Using decorative tape is the easiest method. You can use washi tape or designer duct tape. Cover the front of the outlet with strips of tape and wrap the ends of the tape around to the back. Use scissors or a razor blade to cut carefully around the openings. Poke a small hole for the screws. You can also cover the outlet with paper. I've chosen scrapbooking paper because it won't fade or discolor, but you could also try a page from a magazine or an illustration from an old book. Trace the cover on the back of the paper remembering to outline the holes. Cut out the center holes. Use a single hole punch to make the holes for the screws. Protect your work area with wrapping paper or newspaper. Use a paintbrush to spread a light coat of Mod Podge on the front of the outlet cover. Lay the paper on top of the outlet cover, carefully aligning the holes. Starting in the center and working toward the edges, smooth the paper outward. Press firmly to eliminate air bubbles beneath the paper. Allow the adhesive to dry for a few minutes. Then use sandpaper or a file to sand down the edges of the paper. This makes the paper fit the slight curve of the cover and will prevent the edges of the paper from curling upward over time. Brush off the paper, then add a light top coat of Mod Podge to seal the paper. Keep your brush strokes consistent and vertical. Allow to dry. The last method is the most time-consuming, but looks very elegant. First, iron a piece of cotton fabric. Lay the cover on the fabric and trace around it, adding an extra half an inch border on all sides. Remember to trace the holes as well. Cut out the rectangle. Use a single hole punch to make the screw holes. Carefully snip out the center cutouts. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Try this at home, try this at home. You'll need to use fray check around the cutouts to prevent fraying over time. You only need to use a very small amount. Don't even squeeze the bottle, just let it drip ever so slightly on the edges of the holes. This seals the raw edges of the fabric. You'll also need a permanent fabric spray adhesive. I recommend Elmer's Craft Bond. Protect your work area because this gets very sticky. Spray the outlet cover lightly with Craft Bond. Immediately place the fabric on top, carefully aligning the holes. Rub the fabric firmly from the center outward to adhere. Then rub along each side of the cover. 
Remove the cover from the protective paper while it is still tacky. Make a diagonal snip at each corner. This reduces bulk and allows the fabric to fold in more neatly. Discard the paper and lay down a fresh piece. Flip over the outlet cover and lightly spray the back. Fold the edges inward to adhere. Use a flathead screwdriver to install your new outlet cover. If you're renting, save the old one and replace it when you move. Tell me which of these methods is your favorite in the comments below. For more great DIY videos, check out Style Hall's YouTube Partnership Network. For hundreds more tutorials, visit my website, madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.